You use much less ink, but say just as much by using joining words. Just look here at these two sentences. Jacob went to the castle. Jane went to the castle. If we want to say the same thing about two people, we don't have to say it twice. Instead, we can say, Jacob and Jane went to the castle. We use the word and to show we are talking about Jacob and Jane together. Splendid! And with plenty of ink to spare. There are many ways to use and when we talk and write. Jacob went to the baker. Jacob went to the butcher. Jacob went to the baker and the butcher. That's nice and concise. And much easier to write. There's another word that we can use when we want to talk about making a choice between two things. That's the word or. Alice will buy an apple or an orange. We will go to the forest or the lake. Do you want to sing or dance? I prefer to sing. I prefer to dance. Yes, well, words like and and or that we use to connect other words are just two examples of these joining words. We call these kinds of words conjunctions, and there are many of them. There are others? So. I sew on occasion. Do your socks need mending? No, not the act of sewing. I'm speaking of the conjunction so. S O. I like flowers, so I walk in the garden every day. Do you see how the word so connects the idea that I like flowers with the fact that I walk in my garden? We do. It's true. The word but is another conjunction. Jacob likes to eat oranges, but he doesn't like to peel them. Or because. You will save barrels of ink because you can use conjunctions. Long, long live, live the, king. the king! And long live conjunctions! Having taught the good people of Lutz to say how to use conjunctions, King Grammar returned to his castle to finish the letter to his mother.